Hi, this is Thunder E from borderwork.com and today we're showing you how to use WebOS 3.0 um, on the touchpad. Now, uh, I know there are some of you who are familiar with WebOS, so you know how uh, it operates and it's very uh, familiar to WebOS 2.0, but there are a lot of people out there who've never used WebOS, who've never experienced it, and are probably interested in the touchpad and also other WebOS devices, and I figure this is the best way to show you guys how to actually use WebOS. Uh, first thing to note that basically the whole idea of WebOS is centered around the corners of the screen. So basically, uh, you basically slide along from the... Uh, bottom panels uh, to move around and I will get to that. Uh, the device just have, has one central button which is kind of like the home button. So you put it on you can see the lock screen there and you can see I have a couple of messages. I have uh, my Facebook message, I have some emails, I have this is also this is actually my Yahoo chat and we'll get into all those different things but if you just slide this to unlock you see I'm actually in an email. So uh, I'm in my email here and you see my notifications at the top I can bring these notifications down, go to each of them, and this is my email setup. This is just general email. For me to now get out of this email, I basically go down to the, the, the bezel area here, and that's why I slide up. So I have to just do this quickly, and basically I'm out of my email setup. Now, the whole idea of WebOS is all centered around all these various cards. So WebOS is a card-based application system. The home screen here um, doesn't have an area for you to actually place uh, icons or apps on the home screen. What you do have here is this um, featured section where you do have your your uh, web browser, your email, this is messaging total, pictures, and of course your app tray. At the very top, of course, you do have your notification bar. And then to the right of the bar, you do have your, your battery, Wi-Fi, VPN, Bluetooth, and all those sub um sub settings functionalities now before we go into the cards details itself let's just quickly go through the device as a whole and operating system wise in your app tray you do have your app tray you can slide over for, to check out your downloads favorites if you have any favorites you can drag there and of course you slide over to settings so this is how you get to settings on the device and since this is a hp device you just have printer manager which allows you to connect to any hp uh wireless printer and i believe that's any printer developed in the last five years so you can connect to any printer and you have a various settings and the whole time of course your featured apps are still available here now this is the card based system so each individual application shows up as a card uh, you can slide through cards. You can stack cards together. So, for instance, this app, this card here is for messaging. This is with uh, BW1. I can slide it back, and you should see other uh, conversations I was trying to have. We use the size of the card. Uh, this is a card for the uh, at something I was looking at. This is for the web browser. I can actually open up another browser window. And you see it stacks on top of that. So you actually have the browsers uh, together. And say we go to Border Work. Uh, let's go to our Facebook article in there, uh, Google uh, Plus article. So we see we are now in the article. Uh, the browser does play Flash. Sorry, I reduced that. But we can go here. We can actually play this video. It does play Flash internally just to show you the some browser capability. Um, it's a full functioning browser. That's just taking some time to load. Wi-Fi connections having some issues here. Hi, this is Thunder from BorderWork.com. But you can see that's plain. So video. we'll pause that. So you have that, you know, you pitch to zoom, expand, all that fun stuff uh, with your browser. But again, like I said, you can that's stacked up together. So you can stack things on top of each other there. Uh, you can have multiple apps open. So for instance, I can open up picture viewer now the cool thing about this is is when you go to your account center as you sign up with different accounts the uh, a lot of things from your accounts actually shift over so for instance I sign into my Facebook and these are all the photos are on the border work Facebook account this is just the border work Facebook account not the uh, the border work uh, Facebook page fan page but you can see pictures on the Facebook account page where already has been pulled up from uh, from the uh, from Facebook into uh, into our touchpad here. So of course I can minimize that. Um, I can go over here and you know I can also go check out my WordPress which is a, a WordPress website. Uh, we can open up say Facebook itself. That opens up another card. And you can open up multitude amount of cards here which is very interesting. 
Uh, the most I've done so far is about um, 15 cards open at once. And this is the Border Work Facebook page. You can see that. Um, and you can see, notice everything with the app, uh, with the applications here that are built for web WebOS 3.0 is the ability to kind of close in and create a full screen uh, view of your app. Uh, you can slide that back out. Uh, unlike what you have at Android, you don't have a menu screen. So you, it's similar to iOS, there's no menu button to or menu screen option. Well, you do have uh, on-screen options on the device overall. So I can write a note. I can go here, you know, select a file, cancel that, and that's what you find overall. So just opening a bunch of apps here to see how many apps we can open. Uh, maps. Maps, uh, you can have maps. You can check your directions. You can look for your location. Maps are powered by Bing. So, you know, I can type this. Go to search here. And um, I can type in Fenway and hit enter to search and choose me for Fernway Park. And actually, that's not Fernway Park, that's, uh, that's just the general Fenway area. You know, I can reduce that. I do have different viewing modes, of course. Um, I do have a road, satellite, bird's eye view. So I have a satellite view. I have the bird's eye view here, of location. So you can see that. And uh, this is something, you know, of course, you have with, you know, with your big maps. But I keep that on the side there. So you can do all these things. And it's, it's very simple to use. Uh, one other cool feature of, um, of WebOS uh, 3.0 or WebOS in general, which if you don't know, is just type. So you can start typing something if you're looking for something, where it be it on the web. Uh, be it on uh, within your device or um, you're searching your email, something like that. So I can type in, um, let's see, I have my email open. I can type in name Ken and it brings up Ken, uh, a bunch of other people. I can type in, uh, let's go here. I can type in board at work. Let's see what it does for search parameters for us. Uh, so right now, it's giving me options to search from. I can either do bookmark history, which I have three, one calendar event, and I can just do Google suggested search. But you can search also using this option. So this basically shows you what. So as you type for something, or you're looking for something, you don't exactly show where it is. As long as you have it connected to to this device, you can actually find it in whatever location. Uh, you want so that's the just type feature and that's a very cool feature you have overall your email accounts for instance are all aggregated to one so I can go into email here and I can go to mail and preferences and accounts so right now I have a uh, Google and a Yahoo I can add accounts and you can see the accounts I can add I can add just a regular email account from, I can do an uh, Exchange server, Mobile Me, Yahoo, and uh, Google, and also have a Find More option for other email account options if you need some. And again, of course, that brings up to the App Store, which we'll go to next uh, in a second. Um, let me just minimize that for a second. So, so you see now, just going back to how many cards you can open, I have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. I have eight open. All right, so let's just throw in some more just because we want to test this as much as possible and see how much WebOS can handle. And then we have Angry Birds. So we're going to throw Angry Birds on there and see how well that functions. And actually, I'll just minimize that for a second and we'll go to the App Store. Uh, this is the HP App Store where you can, of course, download apps like any other uh, um, tablet or device out there. Uh, this is app specific to WebOS. Um, you have featured app section, top paid, top free, latest apps. You have categories, bookmarks, and search. This is how you search for apps. So you can actually hit this type and you can search for an app this way. Or you can do the just type and it will do pretty much the same thing for you. If you go into categories back here again, um, shows you all the apps. You have featured, paid, free on top. You can search for apps and you can download them directly. So I have NPR, once I hit the free, it actually starts downloading and I can go back and you know do whatever I need to do 
in downloading the applications and getting new things. And it says on top there, in the notification era, NPR is installed. So we have that installed. And again, you know, we just throw that to the side. And we see we have that stacked. And, you know, do the quick recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight apps in total uh, open. Angry Birds seem, didn't seem to start up, I believe. So um, Angry Birds has gone away. Now, to get rid of your cards, it's very simple. You have cards on the table here. For instance, all right, fine, I'm done with the map. I can either slide it up. I'm done with Facebook. I can just toss it away. And that's pretty much it. It's very easy to use, very easy to to. Um, basically get rid of cards and basically minimize your screen. Um, the cool thing is, is some of the features you have with some of your accounts, say for instance, with Google with uh, Google Talk. Once you, s you set up your Google email, your Google Talk actually signs up with the um, messaging chat um, app here. So you do have that option with you. And it's very easy to basically jump in and chat with friends and do what you need to do. And um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much WebOS in its easiest form for you. Uh, you can see basically how the gestures are easy to use, very simplistic. Um, now on on the side side note though, is uh, WebOS right now WebOS three point it runs. Uh, very slow uh, compared to other open systems right now. Um, I know it's not hardware accelerated, but just giving you a general idea of how slow it runs. Um, it's not it's not very slow, but also it, it runs slow enough where opening certain things, you see it taking some time, might chug along, and things like that. But with functionality, you can see how it functions and how it works. So if you guys have any questions, any comments about WebOS 3.0, let us know. If you want to know certain things specifically about how to use it and how you can do certain things, just uh, yeah, let us know. And um, leave a comment on our YouTube page or on the website with the with the uh, how-to video for WebOS 3.0. So this is uh, Thunder Yi from Waterworks saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.